Long distance learning is not only for international students. This semester, President Rad and the college's faculty launched Hunter at Home, a free online lecture series that's open to the public. I spoke to the Hunter at Home professors about their approach to lecturing to the public and even an international audience. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to another edition of Hunter at Home. The Hunter at Home series lectures range from grocery shopping during a pandemic to the Beatles legacy, how elephants think, and more. Professor Diana Reese designed her lecture about dolphin communication to appeal to a mainstream audience with no pre-existing knowledge of marine life. What I wish I could do is take every single person who is listening to this lecture and take them with me to uh, a dolphin pool where I study them and let them come face to face or face the flipper with a dolphin. Her online students watch footage from her experiments about dolphins using technology and interactive systems. Like Reese, most professors include photos, videos, and Q&As to connect with the audience. While Professor Michael Lobel misses the personal interaction of a real classroom, he says he connects with more people during virtual lectures about the art of Vincent van Gogh. It has been nice to realize that we can reach out to a much broader audience. That if we had held these lectures uh, in person, we probably would have had a fraction of the number of people actually attending. Lobel says Hunter at Home makes him realize there are so many people who want to learn about new things. His Zoom attendees from as far away as London didn't leave his lecture disappointed. And the two words I use were creative and inspiring. Like I, he thinks about things in really different ways than um, I think a lot of other art historians. As a native New Yorker, Warbill doesn't feel as isolated from the city anymore because of this online lecture series. If you want to attend one, all you have to do is RSVP. If you can't make it to a live lecture, all the recordings are posted on Hunter's website. Colleen Digney, Hunter News Now.